Hi, Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to quickly go over the search features in Tatums. And so if we go up here to the search box at the top of the screen next to the search button and type in a equipment number, for example 563, and click search, that'll bring up that piece of equipment. And we click on it and that'll uh, populate the uh, screen down below with all of the information for that piece of equipment. And then if we want to bring up that entire list again, we just highlight the piece of equipment that we typed in there into the search box and either press backspace or delete and then click the search button one more time and that will repopulate the list. Now you have the ability to search by equipment number, description, make, model, year, license plate number, capital equipment number, PO number, fuel gas card number, VIN number, and notes. And you can use a wildcard also, you can search by all equipment that's out of service. So on the out of service one, if we click on that and then click search, that's just going to show us the equipment that is currently out of service. And then if we go back up here to search by, say, description, and we want to look for anything that starts with the letters LEA, and then click search, uh, that'll show us all the items in the description field that start with the letters LEA. And then if we wanted to see uh, say we wanted to see all these, everything with the, uh, that has the number 17 within it. If we do an asterisk, which is a wild card, at the beginning, and then type in the number 17, then it's going to bring up everything that has the number 17 within the description somewhere. Okay, and uh, so now if we go back over here to, I'm just going to highlight that, click search to bring everything back up bring it back up to by equipment number and so oh, there's that so now if we go over here to the filter the filters allows us to uh, filter out the list that you see here by certain parts of the program for example customer location department or area or equipment type the equipment type is right here and the customer down here location and department or area so if any of those have been selected within the uh, for a piece of equipment, you'll be able to filter and that equipment would show up for that particular filter. So for example, if I go over here to equipment type, then the choose gets populated with all the equipment types that have been entered into the system in the past. So if I click on golf cart, we'll see if there's any golf cart carts in this database. And you can see that there is. So we clicked on search. Now we just have filtered and we're looking at only the golf carts. And same thing if you wanted to search or filter by a certain customer or location or department or area, you could do the same way. And then uh, over here on the sort by, this allows you to sort by different columns in the, uh, in the search list and the results list. And then if we click on sort order, that'll sort by the sort order number, which is this number right here. This is a number that you can assign to each piece of equipment that's a numeric value and uh, because if because if you sort by equipment number that is actually an alpha numeric value so it's text and numbers can be put in there both and so it's always going to sort by uh, a text field which means that it sorts by the far left hand column first so you might be better off if you need to have things in some sort of numeric order to assign a numeric value to each piece of equipment and you can bring up the entire list in your sort order down here if you click on the sort order button and you can bring up and you can see the equipment number on the left hand side and the sort order number that you can assign to it over on the right hand side so you can assign a numeric value to each piece of equipment here and then for various reports and obviously on this list here you can use that sort order number to sort by uh, that numeric value so hopefully that's been helpful for you and thanks for watching. Take care.